This morning in today's kitchen, calling all ghoulish gourmets. If bones and brains are on your menu this Halloween, then you'll love these sweet recipes. We've got hot chef Ann Thornton. She's the host of Food Network's Des Dessert First with Ann Thornton. I believe in that as well, Ann. Good morning. Good morning. Dessert always first. Yes. You're going to help us make brains cupcake and graveyard chocolate cake. Milk chocolate graveyard cake. Oh, here yes. we go. Desserts are all about sharing, and the most important thing is to have that wow factor when you're sharing your desserts. So this cake has that major wow factor. We're going to start off with making the centerpiece of the cake, which is the milk chocolate tree. Okay. So we just melted down some chocolate here, mm -hmm. and we're going to place it in a zip top bag, right? Perfect. Thank you. Right in here, and we put it over a glass so that it stays in open and is easy for us to pour in. No special equipment, no pastry bags needed, just a zip top bag. And this is just chocolate chips melted down, or how did you make the chocolate? Just chocolate chips melted down. Done. Nothing fancy. Easy. Things you already have in your house. And then we'll just take this here, bring it over to our little tray part. I know you want this pair of scissors. You're so good. Thank you. Want to cut this little thing? How, how big of a cut do you want? Just a teeny tiny one. Okay, teeny tiny. Perfect. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, I'm so sorry. I got that's some on okay. you. That's more it comes out really quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. And just make it really fun and swirly. Go around. It's a spooky tree, so you want to have fun with it. It doesn't need to look perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, so you just do what you want. How long does that take to set? It takes about an hour in the refrigerator, so give yourself some time. You can make it the day before as well and have some fun with it. Mm -hmm. And we have this one here that we already made in advance. It's our centerpiece, so would you do the honors of placing that right in the middle of the... Oh. One part of it came up, but that's, that's okay. okay. Nobody cares. So no, here we have a tree. Cake. The tree. <laughs> and this, this, <laughs> yeah, but that's for Christmas. But oh, that's okay. okay. Wrong but holiday. This, Sorry. <laughs> this cake, you, and you just did a store, store bought cake, maybe, or you can make your own if you want. Totally. Make, you can use a store bought cake. Put this right in the middle? Yes. I made this from scratch, but it's my business. So that's what why I, I did it. What I like more than the tree, even as cool as this one is, is uh -huh. the, and you would go all the way down with all this. All the way I down. Think. There you go. Is the, is the dirt that you had. Now, how'd you make the dirt? I crushed up some chocolate wafers and just spread those right all over it. That's easy. Fun. So Done. easy, so okay. much fun. All right. And then we're just, you have to have gravestones for it to be a mm -hmm. cemetery, right? So we took some store bought cookies and just wrote with a little gel frosting on them oh, boo cute. and RIP. Oh, that's You'll help cute. me put those in there. Just the, oh, that's good. Isn't that fun? You know, your kids would love to get involved with decorating this. Now show us how to make those These bones. These are so easy. All we do is take a pretzel stick and mm. some mini marshmallows and put them. Oh, I broke that's it. Okay. That's <laughs> no big right. deal. And then we just put them in some white chocolate that we, um, Diluted with a little butter. So you just dip the whole thing in white chocolate. Exactly, and okay, fish so it out. that's what this is, and then you can put that like that on there. Exactly. Right, so you have a bone. Look at you. I'm going to be out of a job soon. No, no, you're, no, no. So, you're so, so good at this. And then these things? Anything that you'd want. This oh, is your graveyard, oh, so I'm have having, fun with it. I am having Perfect. fun. Perfect. So you can ghosts? just buy these things. Buy all these things. Mm -hmm. And some pumpkins. Here Isn't that go. fun? Sprinkle some pumpkins this is good. here. Okay, okay now we're gonna we're gonna actually go back this way, you guys, because right over here we want to show the finished product that you put Hi. together. Yes. And now you guys are just there in time for brains cupcakes. Mm. You need a little gore at Halloween, right? And what's yes. gorier than some brain, red velvet brain cupcakes? So you can cut into it. Ew. You're just gonna take this easy buttercream recipe that I put a little bit of black food coloring in and a little bit of red food coloring to make what I imagine brain matter looks like. I think that's yeah. about the right color. Yeah, and make two hemispheres like the brain has. Uh, Isn't yeah. that fun? <laughs> so this simple. is what the finished product looks like over here. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. Wow. Look these are so that. much fun. Those look beautiful And these too. are the couture caramel apples. You <laughs> okay. have to have caramel apples on Halloween. Yes. And these you can put special toppings on. So whatever you like, you can change them up and make them extra special for the holidays. And the best thing about all of these is they also serve as a decoration not just as yeah, dessert. Yeah, you know? exactly right. Well, and a fun thing to do with your kids. And Thornton, sure. thank, you, thank so you so much. much. Great thank ideas. You. I learned some things from Lou I'm so glad.